Elizabeth Blackburn currently runs a laboratory at the University of San Francisco in California. She pioneered the study of telomeres, or the tips of chromosomes, which has since become an important field of science, advancing the development of cancer treatments and our knowledge of ageing. We think of the telomere as being a little bit like the, the little cap or the tip at the end of a, 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 a shoelace. So if you think of the chromosome as the shoelace and then there's two little tips at the end and those seal off the ends and protect. Blackburn grew up in Australia and after completing her PhD, she was keen to find out more about chromosomes, in particular the ends. In the 1970s, very little was known about telomeres. There was no sort of formula for how one could do this, so I had to make it up. And so, you know, every day was an adventure because you didn't know which one was going to be working and then sometimes you'd get a result. Her work showed that telomeres were actually a repeating DNA sequence. This revealed the genetic structure of the telomere for the first time. I remember taking the X-ray film out of the fixer, having developed the film and holding it up against this you know, dim red light in the uh, dark room and seeing this very, very intense spot that immediately told me that there was a particular sequence. So right away I got a lot of information and I knew right away there was something really worth looking at and you know, little did I know I'd spend the next 30 years of my life or more looking at this same kind of DNA. When DNA replicates, the very end of the chromosome cannot be copied, so falls away and disintegrates. Blackburn's discovery showed that the telomere sequence didn't contain DNA that was crucial to the cell. Therefore, no essential genetic information is lost during the process. The telomere sequence is simply to protect the chromosomes from damage and is otherwise redundant. Today, Blackburn travels all over the world, including regular visits to the Curie Institute in Paris. When I was a kid, I read about Marie Curie and read the biography written by her daughter. And to me, it's this very sort of evocative place because, wow, you know, this is Marie Curie's place. And, uh, and I was very affected by reading all about her. And, and it really grabbed me as an idea of why, why you'd want to be a scientist. <laughs>